Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we'll talk about uh, ATF testing on the service portal, and then we'll talk about few further that how we can test that um, approvals, how we can check that request form, all those details. We'll try to cover one by one. So we already have a uh, sessions that second session is that all about uh, how we can do a complete ATF testing on service catalog for platform view. So today we'll talk about mostly that how we can test in the portal and then for the, the RI team and other details. So without wasting time, let's get started. So in last video, I took that a record producer and this time I'm going to take a service catalog uh, which have a workflow. So this, if you see, this is the uh, manage uh, knowledge ownership groups. And whenever you select a create a groups, uh, ownership groups, it will ask the manager uh, group member, and then uh, you know uh, putting the descriptions and name. It will create. It will go for approval, and it might be create further groups. So we are going to test this functionality first up through that um, our ATF. So first thing is first. So let's first. Uh, do a normal testing that how it is behaving and then further we'll uh, see that so uh, be, to understand that what we have to do i'll quickly open this workflow and show you that what other things it is going to to achieve that then only you can you know uh, uh, understand or uh, do the complete testing so very first thing is that you can see uh, whenever this we are we are going to cover that positive scenario there could be a multiple scenario but we are going to cover the positive scenario so first uh, if you see here yeah, the create ownership group if you choose the create ownership group and then submit that it will go for a approvals and then once it is approved it will create a group and it will be complete that so this cycle we are going to cover as part of the ATM so what we are going to do that we will check that whenever we load these forms the what fields are visible so these fields are visible or not and that is mandatory or not and once we click the create variables these are the fields are mandatory or not and after submitting that it is generating approvals or not and then after approve it is going to create a group or not so these are the steps we are going to cover today um, during the portal definitely so what we are going to do we are going to um, create a, in the ATF we are going to create a uh, uh, test here and this test we are going to create a new test again if you don't have basic knowledge please go and watch my previous video we already done two video one is the basic ATF testing another is the service catalog testing on the platform so go and watch those so I'll uh, select that portal and then I will just set that so first we have going to create a uh, catalog item and then if I go back this um, this is um, this catalog item is going to be test by all the user can be um, done by all the users. So what I am going to do I'll click add step and then create user and then let's take a example. I am going to do something uh, for ITL maybe. So first name I'll put that ITL last name is the user so this user have a ITL user if you want to set the user manager we are not going to set um, anything right now or else if you want to set the manager you can set from the pillar also or you can select that from here so let's set that uh, the demand manager is the manager for that user now in the role I'll set that ITL role for this user and then as uh, uh, submit so first steps is the user creation is done you even if you want to add um, take any existing user you can take now we'll to add steps and then we'll scroll down and then here service catalog service and we will select the open a service catalog uh, click next so by very first thing it is asking that which portal we are going to test that our case is the service portal or SP portal we are actually using here SP portal next uh, the which page we are going to use that we are using the SC cat item and then the which catalog item our case is the catalog item is this one of item we are I am going to select that the current catalog item is the manage knowledge uh, ownerships and then click submit. 
So now uh, what we are going to do, we are going to validate that um, during the on load request type is visible or not and it's a mandatory or not. As I mentioned, I am not going to cover the negative scenario. So we, I will just check that the request type is visible or not and then this is the mandatory or not and maybe we can check the fields is none or not. So let's do that. I'll click add step here and here if you see in this under this service portal what I am going to do that I will check that um, the variable state validations and then click next. So what I am going to do that the first question I am going to validate that the request type is visible or not. So request type is visible or not and then um, there are a couple of fields that are not visible I am not going to do that and then this request type is mandatory or not so these two things I am going to validate and submit the next things I am going to validate that uh, the by default the value is none or not so what I am going to do that I will simply click add step here and then here validate variables value I'll click next and this time I will say check that request type is none or not by default so that that should not by default any value so this force validation or this this kind this kind of validation is done I'm not going to do the negative scenario now what I'll do I will change this value to the create ownership group here I will set a manager and then here I will create uh, set name manager and group app group memberships so those things will do that so what I am going to do that I will do a add step here and this time I will go to the all step and create I am going to create a user so let's put a user name call um, SRM and then here last name maybe manager here and this uh, I will put that ITL admin maybe this user role so this user I am going to create and I am not going to impersonate that user I will be impersonate the user that I have I mean it will be do as the previous user I am not going to impersonate that what I will do I will set some value so what the value I am going to set here so set variable value click next and here I am going to set some value. I'll just submit that. So in these steps, we are going to set some value and finally we will order this catalog item so what we'll do uh, if you see here uh, there is no add to cart button so we do have the order now button so we will order this catalog item so if you see here order this catalog item and then do the next here assertion type assertion type is that it can be saved in background or not so yes it should be saved the background so in this case we have successfully ordered the catalog item we have not covered that um, you know normal thing now what we'll do we will do some additional test let's say first thing we are going to do that um, so request is successfully submit or not that will give you that um, uh, you know that um, submit uh, order guide will help you that by that you will, will be already able to know that it's um, successful or not now on the form what you can do you can open a existing form you can click that and then click next in this case what will do it will generate a request right so what we have to do table uh, it will simply return that sc underscore request so it will return that the or catalog item whichever is that submitted that this will return me that request okay so we'll select that order a catalog item here and then record and then submit so this way we can be able to open the request and then if you want to validate that certain fields we can do that okay so what we'll do i'll simply click run test and see that it is working or not so we'll do the run test
So first thing you notice that it is saying that you either won't have authority authorized to record is not valid, something like that. And probably this will be failed. These um, steps will be failed. Let's see. If I go back, it is fail, and then because it's fail, all the other uh, result are uh, fail. So what happens? This manage catalog item definitely have a certain role to see that uh, this uh, catalog item. Let's see. So if you see the failure scenario, what it is saying that fail to open the catalog item. If I go back to the SC cat item table and open this manage uh, knowledge ownership group and available for you can see the ownership group item access so it is only available who have the knowledge domain exp expert or knowledge uh, admin they will be able to uh, you know access this role so access this catalog item so what we can do i will simply uh, you know or remove this available for i will just simply remove this for the timing I'll just simply remove this uh, available for and try to test that and let's see what is happening. So if I, if you go back to the test result, uh, if you see the first it is getting filled. So now we'll uh, test one more time and see it is working or not. So click run test and here. So this time uh, it is existingly or running on this, um, you know, these uh, runner and then you can see this managed knowledge ownership group is open Now you can see that after setting all these fields value, it is submitting that the uh, the first the catalog item is submitting and finally it is open to that request form. So in our next video, we'll talk about that how we can validate the form, and then we'll talk about that how we can validate the RITM and then how we can check that approval is getting generated or not. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.